Hey guys, before we get into this kit, I just wanted to let you guys know that Kidnap Mystery 3 is on hold for now. We have postponed it due to uh, certain issues with the casting, but I hope that we will have it on board and ready to go by the time end of fall gets here, I believe. If we're still doing it, I really hope we will be able to do it, but if we're going to still do it, guys, it'll be near fall. And now, let's get into the skit. Well, Ian, I think it's safe to say you've really done it this time. Did what? It's your YouTube channel. It's it's just a total disaster right now. What do you mean disaster? Well, where do I start? You're basically repeating 2020. Isn't that a good thing? A good thing? Yeah, I mean, you know, like uh, 100 subscribers, lots of views, uh, filmmaking improvement, eh? Uh, a year ago, from what I see here, you, you didn't post videos for a month. Because I'm tired of making trash content. But you haven't been posting content at all this year. Okay, I, I posted... I have posted content. There's two videos with hate speech, and they were both removed. Hey, I don't hate anyone. And that was YouTube's fault. You posted a video explaining the removal of the last two. I don't want to leave everyone hanging. And then you managed to produce a video with your father uh, about windmills? That's a little non-descriptive. It was a video about fuel diversity, which uh, we spoke with some experts on the topic, and uh, it was a trending topic, so. Well, for the last month, what have you been doing? Planning, but I'm stopping that now. Why do you care anyways? Because I was hired to confront you on this matter. It's a very serious matter. You've been sitting on this thing for almost over five years. People have joined the platform and they've been more successful with their channels in half the time or even less. Because they post every freaking other day. I don't have that time. Plus, they all get like a subscriber from every member in their church, you know? Plus, we don't go to church on Sunday and half the people there hate our guts. Beg your pardon? Okay, sorry, hate our guts is a little harsh. We just don't, we don't see eye to eye all the time, you know? And uh, I just, I don't have a big following yet. That's all I'm saying. Okay, fair enough. But months at a time without posting anything? I told you, I'm done with making trash content. Ian, what exactly do you consider trash content? Uh, I, pre-2020 stuff? You're gonna have to be more specific for me. <sighs> uh, Okay, fine. Really lame short films, uh, unconvincing try not to laugh challenges, uh, the stunt show, I don't know. Basically, stuff that was really cringy and made everyone feel uncomfortable. Well, have you even tried bringing back the try not to laugh challenge? Maybe, every once in a while? Would you watch it? <sighs> well, to look at the positive side, I'm glad you're able to at least do something. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you know, the virus and everything. Oh, pfft. I'm not worried about the virus. You're not? Oh, look, dude, I've been healthy for the last 10 years. Uh, I've only gotten sick once in the last 10 years, and I wasn't even sick last year. Well, are you saying mask wearing paid off? Uh, no, I didn't wear one. Well, at least not until we became Nazi Germany. Ian, you're supposed to be wearing a mask. Dr. Fauci recommended it. Who cares what Dr. Fauci says? He can't force me to wear one. Or two. Well, then how would you know what to do? You're not a medical expert. Are we here to talk about my channel or a lack of common sense? You don't seem to have twice the common sense of Dr. Fauci. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What is so funny? Oh, oh, I don't have, I don't have twice the common sense of Dr. Fauci. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's funny. Ian, what is oh, so funny? Dr. Fauci could say that there's an outbreak of butt disease and that we need to hose down our butts before going to the hot spot. That's the most absurd thing I've ever heard. Wait, 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 I, just a minute. <clears throat> I can picture this in my head. When the virus gets worse, there'll be butt cleaning stations at every street corner. <laughs> and then you, you can hose your butt down there, and if you're lucky, they'll provide you with toilet paper. <laughs> and they'll, call, they'll tell us to practice rectal distancing. Oh, yes. Very funny. Oh, no, the, the, the funniest part is there's people stupid 
enough to actually do it. <laughs> well, now I can clearly see why you're doing so poorly. Oh, come on. No sense of humor, really? You're like a crusty grout. Ian, I tried. I, I tried to help you. At least I can walk away from this and say I tried. Hey, calling out this stupid stuff is what started to attract attention anyways, you know? So, well, at least until YouTube went Jack the Ripper on my videos. Yeah, but the bottom line is you need to stop being so offensive. Oh, now I'm being offensive. You know what you are? You're a real piece of work. That's what you are. Hey, if it was up to me, I wouldn't have been having this, you know? My doctor told me to do this, so... Don't take this all out on me, please. Well, you can tell him I'm done with this. No more sessions. I'm done. Great. Thanks. I think I'll have better luck with the YouTubers who actually take things seriously. Oh, YouTuber and seriously are two very different words, my friend. Uh, trying to straighten them out is like trying to flush Ublek down the toilet. Oh, trust me. I've got skills you haven't even seen yet. But yeah, I got dirt on the Clintons. Whoa, whoa, it was a joke, dude! You know, I knew something was off about you.